Hi Rex, Hello. nice to meet you. Hello, um, nice to meet you. And here we are in front of this amazing little grow what? Tell me about it. Yeah, so obviously for this one, we, how to see, we, we, we already got a CC for like one month ago. We already got the like uh, older, almost 2,000 pieces of this one. So it seems really popular. And also for the, during the designing time, it's all based on Australia customers' requirements. This is just a special made customized book for Australia market. This one got an LED display screen, or LED display screen, and also it got a touch body. You do not have to knock it anymore, just touch, <laughs> just like iPhone. <laughs> so is it a string inverter? String inverter. How many kilowatts? So, uh, this one is from 2.5 to 6. Oh, so here we go. The single piece would go as high as a 6 kilowatt. <laughs> yep. 2 amplitudes. So it's purely a string, uh, no no hybrid functionality? It's in next six months we'll get a hybrid ready function for this one, but right. it's a different model. Yep. So, so the model number will be a little bit, there will be an H representing for hybrid. Great. The form factor is, is very attractive. Yeah, thanks for that. Yeah. yeah. And also we even get an a inbuilt DC switch that save a lot of money and uh, time for installer. And this DC switch is already I can also see, see a pool, but it's a definitely can be used uh, just like uh, other brand can, can, can be used uh, directly. Yeah, so Amendment 1 of 5033 allows the integrated DC isolator. I was yeah. just presenting on that today, yeah. and it's, it's, it's a great move because we know that you test that in the factory, yeah. and so we can rely on it. Yeah, um, we, we choose actually the component for this one, so we choose the already approved component provider for, for this DC switch. So, yeah. yeah. Sure. Um, how many inputs? Input, In, inputs, uh, the DC uh, yeah, all PV inputts? Yeah, all, all DC oversizing. No, no, PV inputs. Is it dual? Yeah, yeah, yeah uh, the two PV inputs. Two, two PV inputs. Yeah. Uh, and you just mentioned the word oversizing in terms of putting more solar yeah. than the AC power rating. Uh, how much oversizing can you do? So according to CEC, it has to be 1.33. Uh, I would say it's okay. It's 1.33, it's no problem at all for this one. Um, that's only a CC rule. For instance, if you're not installing it as a, a, a under 1. A, 1. 1. 4. 4. Yeah. Okay, so that's great. So overpowering is becoming very popular because people want cheaper energy, yeah. and uh, on overcast days you you produce more. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Great. Well, I'm very impressed by this product. Yeah. Thanks very much, Rex. Nice. Really cool. appreciate finding me too. Uh, to be honest, it's an honor. <laughs> no worries. Great. Um, yeah.